to pray for you. Oh, you hear me? Yes, But let me tell you this. The child that you are fostering will take care of you. Thank you, Prophet. Oh, you hear me? Thank you, Prophet. This child that you took as your child, this child will take care of you. Because this is the child that went through a lot of trauma. You hear me? Yes, Remember the issue of the gun yes, when the mother was shot. Yes, perfect. And now God gave you this responsibility to bless you in the future. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you, Jesus. Because this woman, what she did, she took a child that she does not even know. She has never seen her parents. She just took the child. Take care of the child. So now let me tell you, this child will take care of you. <laughs> Listen, listen, let me tell you this. You, you, are, you are not a father because you give birth to those children. Or you are not a parent because you have given birth to those children. A parent or a father or a mother, it's someone that has been given responsibility. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm trying to say. If you are given a responsibility, you are a parent. Not because you gave birth. Can I give you an example? To show you that we people, we, we are so small before God. How do you give birth to a child that behaves differently from you? Is it your child? <laughs> you know, my, my wife is saying, but whose child is it? But can you reason that? Eh? Did you ever reason this thing? Eh? How do you give a child that behaves differently? And some of you, you even look at your children or Where did that child get that character from? You know what God was trying to do? He's trying to show you that you are very small. Your job is just to give birth, but the child is not coming from you. I'm telling you, God was trying to show us this thing. That you know what? You people, I will show you that you cannot reason. You are very small. How do you give a child birth to a child that behaves totally different from you? But it's coming from you. If you give birth to five children, you find all of them they are different. Why? But all of them they are coming from you. You people, you need to know that God, God is big. God is huge. I'm telling you. So, Mama, let me pray for you. This child will take care of you. Thank you, Jesus. You hear me? Yes, Prophet. And I want to pray for your job. Thank you, Jesus. Come, sir. I want to pray for the job of your wife. There's problems there. Oh, you hear me? There's problems. Yes, it's like Prophet. you are there as a teacher with a purpose. Yes, Prophet. You understand me? Yes, because sometimes prophet. when you are there, when you are teaching these children, you feel like you want to teach them the word of God. Yes, Prophet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like when she's there, she's teaching. There's a lady here. You? You? Oh, my God. Let me leave you. Let me leave you. Come on. <laughs> Receive your job. Come on. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Makanenisa. And with me here today is my mother and father who received a prophecy from Prophet Andres Simono. Ma, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Mimi Lizo. I come from Cape Town. Today, you received a prophecy from the man of God, Prophet Andres Simona. Please tell us in detail what the man of God said to you and please confirm it. I confirm what the man of God <laughs> said to me today to be true. He said, the child that I've abducted, I don't know her. I just met her at school where I was working. He was just an ordinary child. 
but I, I think God intervened in her life because she is an orphan. Her mother passed on. Oh, Prophet Andrews mentioned that I remember the story of the bullets. Yes, I confirm that to be true, that her mother was gunned down by the people that they don't even know even today who killed her mother and her father. We don't, I don't know her father. And I, I didn't bother to look for him because I, I, um, I just took her like my own child. And I asked my husband, the man next to me, he is my husband. So I asked him if we can take this child as our own child. Because we got blessed us with only one child, a boy. So my husband also didn't have a problem that she said, if I, uh, I, I feel that I will be able to take care of her for everything. I said, no, I don't have a problem. Uh, I feel as a parent, it's my duty also. She will eat what we eat and he will dress up like my own child. And till now, I, I, when I took her, she was only eight years. And now she's 19 years. She is going to do grade 12. And I'm, I'm so excited because Prophet Andrew said, this girl, she's the one who's going to take care of me. Because I, I maybe, I, maybe because my, my son is going to get married and leave me, so this girl is going to take care of me. And so she said she's, she's a brilliant child. And I confirm that to be true because in her class in grade 11, she was the top achiever in men's and every teacher in, in, in her school they are taking her books as an example. Or even if they want, if uh, the teacher wants to go to another class and teach, they take her books. So I confirm that to be true. And how do you feel that today the men of God located you and directed you? I feel, I feel I'm so happy. I'm so happy and I feel good. And oh, 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 what I forget now, you know, oh, oh, Prophet Andrews also mentioned that, um, I'm a teacher by profession, so he mentioned that whilst I'm teaching, I feel like I must teach the word of God. And I confirm that to be true, because in the morning, there's no longer the assembly for, for the children. And that bothered me a lot, and I said, I'm going to make the assembly in my, in my class every day. Although I know that I'm still in the department's time, but I'll make sure that I start with God. And it's very true, I even say to all my other uh, colleagues that we should pray. Although that at my school we're not, there, there are no longer prayer sessions, we must pray for ourselves and we must pray for others. Who doesn't know God? They must know God through us. And some, they call me Mama Pastor, although my husband is not a pastor, but because I love God. Amen. And what words of encouragement do you have to somebody who's currently watching this? To everyone who's watching this, um, I'd like to give this message firstly to the parents. If you are a parent, you are not a parent only to your own child that you gave birth to. Any child that you see has suffering is your child. If God has blessed you with something, share it with another child.